Mark the Movie Man here. Welcome to the final cut. I'm trying out a different camera here. Uh, so if the audio's a little off or whatnot, you know, I apologize for that. Now, on to today's program, which is a review of a doozy of a film, or should I say double doozy of a film. That's right, it's Piranha 3 Double D. Brought to us by the director of the Feast Trilogy, so you know what you're going to get right there, okay? And if you have seen the trailers, you know what you're going to get even there. Now, we've got Dan Danielle Panabaker from the Friday the 13th remake, as well as Sky High, playing Maddie, a marine biologist. Wow, what a coincidence. Who goes to visit the family water park, now taken over by her stepdad? Well, the stepdad's a bit sleazy little, and he wants to bring more adult theme to the water park, so he makes an adult-themed water park where nudity and, and stripper lifeguards are abound, right? Well, meanwhile, we have him illegally pumping water from an underground lake, which... We all know underground lakes house prehistoric piranhas, which we learned from the first one. Well, the piranhas come out and we learn they evolve to chew through metal, and they bust through the metal pipes and hence the chaos and gore. Folks, Piranha 3 Double D is going to be exactly one of those films that you get out of it whatever you expect. You can see in the trailers, you know this is going to be an awful awful film. This is going to be a, a send-up to the B-horror exploitation awful films, but even there it's pushing the limits in some respects. Now, I liked the Feast trilogy. John uh, Gallagher did a good on the first Feast movie. Loved it. Great novelty, great shticks. I loved it. Second one was pushing the limits, and the third one, his ridiculousness over the topness to push the barriers kind of went too far to where you're even sitting there going, really, come on, this is getting just a little tiring. And you do have a few of those moments in Piranha 3 Double D, to where even the devout B horror fan and exploitation film watcher is going, okay, now you're really just kind of pushing the limits there beyond ridiculousness, okay? Especially when you're being blatantly about it. Some of these B horror movies that we've seen in the past that are always cult classics didn't mean to be that awful, they just were, okay? But in this case, they're intentionally being awful. So there is a limit to how ridiculous you can go, and they cross that line a few times. Don't get me wrong, mo there were many laugh out mo loud moments in this, and it's just going, wow, that, that really happen? Are those characters really doing that? But unlike the first one, which had a little bit more of a structure to the story, and it moved along a little better, this one's a little more schizophrenic and seemed a little bit more thrown together. Well, they throw cameos in there to try to help save some of it, with Christopher Floyd coming back as a scientist studying the piranha, and uh, Ving Rhames coming back as the cop sans legs uh, to get over his fear of water since the first film. Plus, you've got uh, it opens with Gary B you see, and Clue uh, Gallagher as uh, two farm boys in Lake Victoria, where the original Pranas were. Okay, and, uh, you know, you've got these cameos in there, and they're funny. Gary Busey, I thought, I thought uh, Gary Busey had some great lines in it. And the cameo folks do the best they can with the material. Doesn't quite live up to uh, how much I really enjoyed the first one. I still found it enjoyable, but I expected absolutely nothing in the worst film ever made. And I didn't quite get that, but it was, it was pretty bad, folks. So, if you really like bad films that you just want to watch and laugh at and go, Oh my god, is this awful? Piranha 3 Double D is definitely worth it. It's only eight bucks at video on demand in PS3 land. So you can check it out there in high def, get a whole bunch of group of people over. You know, even if they all chip in 50 cents, it's you know, they get their money's worth for 50 cents if you get about, you know, eight, ten friends over. So, uh, 16 friends, I'm sorry. Math so complicated. So is also this uh, film and me trying to rate this film. Uh, I, I guess if I have to rate it, I'd give it three three stubs, okay? It just didn't quite grab me as the first one. Things seemed a little bit ridiculous, and the, many of the actors, while acknowledging what type of film they were, just didn't seem to have quite the heart into it that they did in the first one. And that'll about do it for us here at the Final Cut. Till next time, keep that ticket stuck.